Girl, girl, week three of being gluten-free just wasn't for me. Oh my gosh, look at me, Dr. Seuss. Okay, no, but, but seriously, you guys, week three was really hard. I cracked. So let's take a look at everything that went wrong this week. Well, here we are. So girl, this week's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I did not film the full third week of me being on this gluten-free diet. And the reason being is I got my period. I got my period, girl, girl. My period was having a moment of its own. So I just went ahead and let her do her thing. But I am going to go ahead and talk about week three and how it went. Because girl, I went ahead and tried some wheat. So picture this, it is the night before my period is going to start and I am craving carbs, girl. So I went ahead and made myself a little soup. It was a little Mexican fideo soup. It was delicious. I filmed this little clip of me showing you the evidence of the soup that I had, but it is totally normal for women who go through menstrual cycles to experience wanting to eat more carbs. So that happened. And I'm currently getting ready because we're gonna go and see my grandma. I'm super excited. So the next morning after having the fideo soup, I wasn't really expecting to have a tummy ache or anything like that. And thankfully that day I did not. But girl, later in the week on Sunday afternoon, my family and I, we had a barbecue and I went ahead and made myself a chicken sandwich with bread. And girl, it was not pleasant. I felt extremely bloated to the point where it was so uncomfortable, I had to unbutton my pants. I have not had to do that this entire time that I've been on this gluten-free diet. And what's interesting is I thought that I just wasn't gonna have a reaction at all. So that was shocking. I did not expect to have a reaction like that, especially because I did have my fideo soup and nothing happened. But after I had my chicken sandwich, all hell broke loose. So I think it's safe to say that my body likes to be on the gluten-free diet. So yeah, girl, I discovered that my body does not like chicken sandwiches or shall I say bread. And that hurts just a little bit. I've tried gluten-free pastas, gluten-free chips, but the one thing that I have not tried yet is gluten-free bread. And I'm scared because gluten-free bread just does not sound right. And girl, I also would just like to apologize for really the lack. I would like to apologize for the lack of consistent videos. I know that this whole like first part of the year, I was super on it with being consistent every Saturday and Sunday on my videos. I don't know, girl. I don't know. But I always say that we're going to get through it, girl, because we just got to take things day by day. Okay? If things aren't going your way, everything works out in the end. And if things aren't working out right now, then it's not the end. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is also the first time I'm putting on makeup in a literal week. I like to look like I had a full 12 hours of sleep. I heard a little birdie told me that if you want your makeup to last longer, you just gotta put more on. <laughs> that sounds crazy. I'm not even kidding you guys, like clockwork, every single time I get the courage to film, I somehow develop a gang of pimples, like right here on my forehead. I think it has something to do with my consumption of cheese. Like if I eat copious amounts of cheese, my forehead's like, stop, don't do that. But like, what am I gonna do? Just not have hot Cheetos and cheese? 
Girl. Also, Hot Cheetos gluten-free. It says so on the bag. In other news, I started applying my mascara differently. I just kind of go in there kind of like I'm upset, like female rage, just kind of. And then afterwards, I'll like clean it up. My boyfriend and I, we've been going to the gym every day. I discovered that my favorite days are arm days because really all you do is sit down and move your arms like slay. I'll do that all day. At what point are we going to look back at our photos and our videos and say, you know what, yeah, that was a little too much blush. Maybe I did put too much blush. As I'm recording this, it is December 18th. I really liked how bright my under eyes were and then I just messed it up, so. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm gonna do this new trick where you set your spray. You set your spray. I'm gonna do this new trick where you set your makeup and then you put the powder on. I'm excited. So girl, um, if you are wondering, I have replaced, replaced. I put up my canopy again because girl, like a couple days ago, I was literally getting eaten alive by a mosquito. Yes, it's been raining. Why? It's been raining and it's December and we need to be Christmas time, easy. Like we need to be having hot cocoa, not fighting mosquitoes. I need a fan. I need to like go boom and I go boom. Shout out to my mom and my dad. They got this for me for Christmas. It's so cute, it's like a little donut. I'm hungry. I really can appreciate a bright under eye. I want my under eyes to be bright, you know? And then I have to dust it off fast because this powder sets fast. Okay, Slay, I think this looks really cute. And recently, another thing that I've been doing is taking a little bit of my NARS Laguna bronzer and kind of just placing it right here to kind of push forward my eyes. Kind of there. To give, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, come through bronzer. Slay. Cat! Would you care to do a segment in my video? Okay. The people request your presence. What do I do? Shout out! That's what it says. Shout out! Shout out! It Shout means out. it means one size. Oh. I can hear your bathroom fan from all the way over here. Sorry. Everybody, my sister. This This is my sister Catherine. I got my hair is wet because I came out of the shower. You are making up a story. You just finished working out no, and your I hair is super sweaty. No. <laughs> We're sisters. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me right now? I don't have the mental capacity to handle this. I don't. So you guys, this is my sister. Um, I'm gonna turn 21 in a week. That is true. I remember when you turned 21. No, you don't. No one celebrated with me. Huh? I was all alone at a Chili's with three of my friends. That's all you need, three friends? Yeah, that's true. But at a Chili's, dog. <laughs> or where would you rather have been? Nowhere else. Than Chili's? Than Chili's. I hope we go to Chili's today, to be honest. Oh. I don't think we are, though. We're gonna go to see my grandma. Yes, we are. My grandma. Our grandma. She's mine. I'm filming an update, a three-week update on me being on the gluten-free diet. Ooh. 
you know, telling them how I felt super bloated after the barbecue. Wait, why? Look, this is how I've been doing my mascara. Should I just show you now? Yeah. Oh, goodness. I just, like, go in, like, heavy. And, like, I don't care if I get it on my eyelid. You're really going in. I know. Okay, we're done here. Goodbye. Cat, that's you. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I love you. I Thank love you. you. That was my sister Catherine, everybody. Woo! I'll be here forever. Yes. That was fun. You guys, I'm not even kidding. The amount of female rage that would surge through my body whenever I would get mascara on my eyelids after I did my eyeshadow. <sighs> Fury. I saw red, you guys. I would be so upset with myself. But now, I realize that I don't care. If it gets on my lids, it gets on my lids. And my eyelashes are going to look fierce and cute after I clean it up. So, it doesn't matter. Okay, this is me before I clean up my mascara. Okay, I finished doing my makeup, but we have to leave already. Oh my goodness. The only thing I'm missing is my lip combo and this blush. And this is what my eyelashes look like after I clean it up and add more bronzer onto it. Okay, girl, let's go. So it's currently 10 days later. I had allergies. Christmas happened. My sister's birthday happened. I also may or may not have had pasta five days in a row. So it's safe to say my gut isn't feeling too good right now. So I am going to be jumping back on to the gluten-free diet. Hmm. What else do I have to say? Uh, ooh. I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me. I really appreciate the love and support of you guys watching my previous two gluten-free videos. I appreciate you guys so much and it means so much that you guys are being there with me, that you guys are supporting me, being so sweet, giving me advice and tips and I just, you know, really want to show you guys what a real weight loss journey can look like and there are some struggles I do struggle with you know like my eating habits and that's it it I wish it was I wish it was like a steady incline to weight loss but it's it is hard um I know that losing the weight that I want to lose isn't gonna solve all my problems I'm not gonna reach my goal weight of weighing 135 pounds and just instantly be happy. I know I'm going to get there and then now what, you know, but there's a lot of things I got to fix. There's a lot of things I got to work on. I got to work on my eating habits. I got to work on being more disciplined with myself. Like I said, I had pizza and regular pasta this past week. Did I feel bad? Like, did my stomach bloat up? Yes, it did on some days. And I didn't feel too super fun for delicious about it. And, you know, I just, that's something I gotta work on. I gotta be more disciplined with myself. I know I wanted to reach my goal weight of being 150 pounds and it didn't happen. And, I know eventually I'm going to get there, but it's going to take some time and I'm making the right steps and I'm getting ready to go work out right now with my boyfriend. I know it doesn't look like it, but like working out also equals like me seeing my boyfriend. I want to look nice for him and I, I, it's kind of like a little date um, in a way every day and it's really nice to have a good supportive family, a good supportive boyfriend and I appreciate it so so much and I appreciate you guys so so much 
And I do want to state that even though I am hopeful for the future, I hope you guys know that I am also disappointed in myself and the fact that I wasn't able to be strong enough to reach my goal weight for the end of this year, which was weighing 150 pounds. I know that the devil wants me to say that I'm a loser and that I failed and that I'll never reach my goals, but I know that God is with me and eventually I'm gonna get through this and I'm gonna I'm gonna be a lot healthier. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh gosh. I can't cry. I can't I can't ruin my makeup right now. I can't do this. Anyway girl, I'm trying my best out here. I know I know I know my videos seem like they always end on this note. But I am trying. And I am hopeful. And I will persevere. And we will persevere if you also feel that way. We're going to get through this girl. Because we have no other choice. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for being here and for watching my journey, my weight loss journey. If you guys are also on a weight loss journey, just know that you're not alone. And we're going to get through this. And our ultimate goal is to just be healthier. And if I can eventually be my healthiest that I've ever been at 150 pounds or 100 and whatever pounds, so be it. And... That's the, that's the, that's all I want is I, I just want to be healthier. You know, I want to feel better. I want to, I want to run and my knees not hurt. You know what I mean? So there's that. <laughs>